Hey, how's it going? So, today I want to talk a little bit about what everyone's kind of going through, right? The whole world's going through, and just kind of what my experience has been. Which, I feel like everyone has been, you know, going through the same thing, but we all react a little differently, you know? This whole pandemic being isolated, and kind of our feelings, and just kind of um, how it's affected me, maybe my emotional state, spiritual state, and dating because that's what that's what you guys want to hear about right so it's just about my dating life so it's been like what over two months since this whole thing uh, really like reaches climax and things were like starting to everyone had to isolate and everyone had to um, be indoors and couldn't really go out and do things and at first I was pretty fine with it I was uh, my I had to work from home but my job is mainly working with uh, people face to face so I didn't really have too much work so really it was kind of like a vacation it was kind of nice uh, honestly you know I was definitely taking advantage and just doing things that I couldn't do before you know cleaning I cleaned a lot I got some like furniture in my room and I started to reach back on my backlog of entertainment that I hadn't um, really been able to partake in because of just time so these are movies video games, um, music, you know, um, and it was great. It was really great for the first month or so, but it was right after that month that I started, like, things started to change for me personally. I started having kind of like this mourning, kind of grieving type of reaction to this whole uh, situation because I live, you know, for the most part on my own. I do have roommates. We don't really interact with each other, but um, other than that, my support group, at least here in Utah, is mostly just my close friends um, at church. Um, but since everyone's self-isolating, I, I wasn't really able to reach out to them or spend time with them. And I would speak with my parents. I spoke with uh, close friends fairly regularly and just explain to them kind of how I was doing and see how they were doing. But when you have like, you know, all this time of your day to fill that you would fill normally with work. And I started to feel more and more like lonely, you know? And I felt, I've, I mean, I think we've all experienced loneliness to a certain point, you know? And definitely I have also. So it wasn't anything out of the norm for the most part. But there came a point almost getting to closer to the two month mark where I started to get like really like emotional. I started getting really like sad. Um, and I didn't want to really do much during the day. Uh, before I would want to, you know, get up, at least have lunch or dinner and make food and then, I don't know, just work on whatever I could. But honestly, I got to a point where I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to lay in my bed and just, like, feel sad for myself. Just nothing, nothing felt, like, worthwhile, honestly. Like, even making these videos, even though I had so much time to do them, I did not have the drive. I didn't have the desire even to, like, watch a movie or just something chill. I, nothing appealed to me. It's kind of when you lose your appetite, when you want to eat food, and even though you might be hungry, you don't want to eat anything. Nothing is appealing to you. But you know... You're hungry. You know there's something missing. And that was kind of how it was. It was kind of scary for me. I, I'm i not uh, an emotional person normally. I start like getting very sad and just start like crying. Just like randomly, like during the day. I'd be just watching a YouTube video and it was a sad YouTube video and I'd like start crying. And that's not normal for me. So I knew I was going through something that was more than maybe just loneliness, you know? And I don't know, it was a little scary. I reached out to some friends and talked to that and talked to them about it. And I don't know, I guess it was just kind of, I realized it was, it was kind of a mourning for 
um, and grieving for just my life, you know, just my day-to-day -day life. And I mean, I understand a little bit better on why people, especially now, there's the whole issue with people wanting to reopen, you know, businesses and, you know, and have like normal life versus, you know, trying to be safe and, um, you know, trying to be um, social distancing to each other. You know, I feel empathy for both sides because I, I'm pretty split uh, with the whole thing too. But before I could fall more into this pit of like loneliness, I, uh, my job actually decided to reopen. So I was able to start going into the office. And even though I still didn't have much to work to do in there because I work mostly with people and people weren't allowed in at the time, it was nice. It was nice just to be out of this basement, out of this room, and just be in a different environment and different, I guess, stimulation. You know, it was definitely better. Um, so I feel like better now. Another aspect I want to talk about also was kind of church. Because we're not able to go to church on Sunday. But they did give us approval to administer the sacrament um, if you live with a priesthood holder and they've been approved by the bishop and Honestly, it's been hard for me. It's been hard um, Sundays they haven't really felt like Sundays and I just have a hard time uh, Pushing myself motivating myself get down and like read the scriptures for me a big aspect or variable of church is the social aspect and when I say that I don't mean just like FHE and like parties or dances and stuff like that I'm talking about like actually being in a classroom and be able to share each other's thoughts and experiences that's why like honestly I do enjoy Sunday school more than sacrament itself I like participation I like the back and forth I like it you know hearing someone has it was a different opinion and not being able to go to church has been like rough for me in the sense that it's hard to feel like Sunday is the Sabbath. That's been like the hard thing for me. Um, really, Sunday has just felt kind of like another day. Hopefully once it's safe, maybe we can you know, return to church and little by little have that participation again. Uh, I really look forward to it. The church wants to do it in a safe manner. So I totally understand that. And hopefully it's sooner than later. Now that I got the emotional stuff out of the way though, let's talk about dating during a pandemic, right? So obviously, no one can see each other, right? We can't meet up with each other. So, what's the solution? It's dating apps, right? And since you can't meet up, what's the next step? It's either like call on the phone or do video chats. And I've definitely been doing that, like, during this time. I've done various video chats and phone calls, and I kind of like the experience for the most part. I feel like when you text someone, it's really hard to understand how they are as a person. Even if you text for a while, you know, for, a, you know, a few weeks, um, just a few minutes of talking, you probably get a much better feel of who they are. And being able to like see them face to face, you really like either it's easier to feel a connection uh, um, versus just texting, obviously. Now, I also agree that if you're in person, that's even better. But due to the situation right now, I think it's a good solution. And I do look forward to like talking like with girls, like when I'm on like a video chat. And I do personally notice and I pick up ex if the girl's like interested or not, because it's super obvious well, when you're face to face with them, you know, if they actually have any interest or if they're actually someone you actually want to possibly meet up uh, with in real life. So like I said, it's been mostly a positive experience and it fills up my time, you know, it fills up my time. You get to learn about someone and about how they're doing and their lives and I, I enjoy it I just like being talking with people and especially during this time when I didn't have many people to talk to it was nice and I got to meet a lot of cool people nothing has come of it as of right now and I do see myself doing it more and continuing to do it because I think everyone's like level of comfort of meeting up and stuff is 
different. So that's something, maybe a conversation you need to have with them. You know, uh, if you already know you like each other, then having that conversation, hey, like, how do you feel about meeting up? How do you feel about me giving you a hug? How do you feel about, you know, uh, just all those levels of comfort. I feel those that's just conversation we all need to have now, like in dating and just like in our relationships, like, with, you know, with your family or like friends, right? But yeah, um, in conclusion though, I am doing better. And like I stated before, I am still kind of grieving like, you know, this summer and the activities, but I'm still gonna try to do things, even though I'm not gonna be able to maybe go to concerts or the normal things I would do. Maybe I can try different things that are like more safer to do um, with maybe a small group of friends, you know? It doesn't necessarily have to be a crowd of people at a concert, you know, even though that's the thing I do enjoy. Hope you enjoyed my little rambling about, you know, kind of what's going on and I'm sure most of you have felt very similar things. Feel free to comment if you like and share your experiences and feelings too about kind of what's going on. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and we'll talk to each other next week.